subarachnoid hemorrhage. It is hyperdense in anemic patients. Subarachnoid hemorrhage, subdural hemorrhage is hyperdense in anemic patients. So in hyperacute hemorrhage in MRI, there is seen oxyhemoglobin. Then in acute, one to three is intracellular deoxyhemoglobin. Then in early subacute, two to seven days, intracellular methemoglobin. Then in late subacute, seven to fourteen days, fourteen to twenty-eight days, seven to fourteen to eight days, extracellular methemoglobin. And then in chronic, fourteen to twenty-eight days, intracellular hemocytin. Question number uh, 46, 22 old patient having large posterior positive system and has existing nodule hemangioblastoma. 22 old patient having large posterior positive system and has existing nodule hemangioblastoma. Question 47, periods of one hepatitis and disease in brain in presence of bilateral renal cysts and pancreatic cysts are hemangioblastoma. Periods of VHL in brain in presence of bilateral renal cysts and pancreatic cysts are hemangioblastoma. 48, 57 year old hypertensive woman brain shows elevated levels of brain Vanilla metallic acid, heart metal, superior pole of right kidney, heterogeneous, mosaic diagnosis, pleochromocytoma. 58 year old man, hypertensive, urine shows elevated vanilla metallic acid, heart metal, superior pole of the right kidney, heterogeneous, mosaic diagnosis, pleochromocytoma. 49 calcification is present in more than 10% cases of pleochromocytoma. Calcification is present in more than 10% cases of pleochromocytoma. The 10 rule of pleochromocytoma is Ten extra adrenal, ten percent bilateral, ten percent malignant, ten percent in children, ten percent familial, ten percent non-serial hypertension, and ten percent cordial calcification. Most common supracellular mass in children is craniopharyngioma. Fifty-one four-year-old boy with poor short stature and diabetes exhibits down existing solid mass with some peripheral calcification in the supracellular system. This peripheral enhanced mosaic diagnosis craniopharyngioma. Rounded cystic solid mass with some peripheral calcification in supracellular cistern with peripheral enhancement, diagnosed craniopharyngioma. 52 malignation is present is completed by 18 months. Malignation rotate M, capital M, and it looks like 8 then. So malignation is completed by 18 months. 45 subdural hemorrhage, hypertension in anemic patients. Subdural hemorrhage, hypertension in anemic patients. 453. Lacro and product are not correct, seen in the deep subparticle region. Lacro and product not correct is seen in deep subcortical region. 54. Your earliest sign of hydrocephalus is in large temporal horns. Earliest sign of hydrocephalus is in large temporal horns. 55. Mass and CP angle of CSF intensity causing telling of underlying bone is arachnoidosis. Mass and CP angle of CSF density causing scalping of underlying bone is arachnoidosis. 56. Diffusion restriction is seen in all except dermatosis. Epidermis is cellular sources of restriction. Diffusion restriction seen in all except dermatitis does not show the diffusion restriction. 57. Male patient with headache, CSF shows xanthrochromia, diagnosis subarachnoid hemorrhage. Male patient with headache, CSF shows xanthrochromia, diagnosis subarachnoid hemorrhage. Xanthrochromia seen in subarachnoid hemorrhage. 58. Woman presented to a period worst headache of life, diagnosis subarachnoid hemorrhage. Worst headache of life, diagnosis subarachnoid hemorrhage. 59. Patient has brain aneurysm in MSEA and has in the cerebral period, where is the where is the blood going to be in subarachnoid phase? Pain has subarachnoid hemorrhage, and where is the blood going to be in subarachnoid phase? Sixteen most common cause of subarachnoid hemorrhage is ruptured aneurysm. Most common cause of subarachnoid hemorrhage is ruptured aneurysm. Sixty-one most common cause of hydrocephalus is meningomyelitis. Most common cause of hydrocephalus is meningomyelitis. Sixty-one. Subarachnoid hemorrhage and subarachnoid phases. Most common cause of hydrocephalus is meningomyelitis. Question number uh, 62 42 year old woman with numbness and lower limbs, well defined intermunic calcium mass in the mid thoracic region, isogen to spinal cord on both T1 and T2, which is any form enhancement post contrast, which is meningioma. Woman with numbness and uh, lower limbs. Well defined intradural extramedular mass in the mid thoracic region. And the isogen test is found on both T1 T2W and you form hand and post contrast mosaic diagnosis meningioma. In this, the uh, hint is that there's a woman, in woman, 46 year old, there's usually meningioma in spinal cord. And then these features uh, do not affect arachnoidosis or epidermite, pandemoma or arachnoidosis, so it's mostly meningioma. 63 18 year old man with headaches, solid hypertension, mass, and posterior respect of third ventricle displaying the Every enhanced contrast, post contrast, and associated with the hydrocephalus. 
a posterior aspect of third ventricle, okay, and then hypertension on T2 images and small convergence, small cystic area, also small lesion with similar signal characteristics in supracellar region, post any diagnosis, germinoma. And this the hint is that usually they are seen as two lesions and two lesions. One is in the uh, posterior aspect of third ventricle or with the tectum and with uh, another is with the, in the supracellar region, so diagnosis is germinoma. Okay. Before we saw image of germinoma, it was a rounded mass with a tectum. It was germinoma. Question 46, 64. Pain comes with complaint of headache and neck regularity. What is best with gain of choice? See how analysis. Most likely. Question 65. A seven year old boy with cystic lesion, sorry, lesion with subtle cystic gain center over the warmest, thick heterogeneous, and met with obstructive hydrocephalus, most likely diagnosed with pyrocystic astrocytoma. Now, a uh, seven year old boy with cystic soil lesion with subtractal gain centered over the wormus and then thick hair enhancement uh, with obstructed hydrocephalus. So, uh, diagnosed by a surgical astrocytoma. 56 hair mass at the anterior cerebellar wormus, predominantly of fat nation with areas of, of calcification and does not enhance pollen contrast, multiple drop rate of fat nation throughout the subarachnoid phase, both by the So, uh, from the dominant, predominant of fatty nation, diagnosis termite. 67. Female with emotional liability and headache, well defined mass in the pericolosal region. Hypertension 21. Images associated with change of carbon carbocalosal, most likely diagnosis, lipoma. So, the well defined mass in the pericolosal region, hypertension 21. Images that is fatty and associated with carbocalosal agenesis, most likely diagnosis, lipoma. 68. Newborn failure to thrive, multiple equidine foci in the pervertical distribution. Extensive calcification in the subendocrine region most likely diagnosed is congenital or mechanical virus infection. Wait. Okay, uh, newborn failure to drive calcification in the subendocrine region in polyvertical distribution diagnosed CMV infection. If uh, calcification in the distributive throughout the brain, then it will be toxoplasmosis. It will be here somewhere. Calcification in polyvertical distribution is. Uh, Cytomegalovirus virus infection. Calcification to free throat brain is toxoplasmosis infection. Question number 69. Patient presents with hemiplegia. CD scans was acute injury to internal capsule. During hemiplegia, CD scans was acute injury to internal capsule. 70, 72 year old man could feel falling fall six days earlier. Question shape collected in the left front of the region. I then sent to CSF or trained diagnosis of dual hygroma. Subtural hygroma. Patient with current point with fall and crescent shaped collection in the uh, contraparietal region as you enter to CSF, most likely diagnosed. Subtural hygroma. Question 71. Most common non neural mass in children is neuroblastoma. Most common non neural mass in children is neuroblastoma. It arises from the adrenal gland. 72 pain or the sound on term generate who requires intensive therapy. Or also a well-defined area of increased pancreatic efficiency of the periphery of the right parietal lobe, which likely diagnosis middle cerebral heart infarction. So, pain or sound to terminate required general therapy or sound well-defined area of increased pancreatic efficiency of the periphery of the right parietal lobe, diagnosis medical cerebral heart infarction. Showing metal chamber is in ventricle, so it cannot be the answer. Answer is middle cerebral MCR infarction. 73, 65-year-old man with headache. Large heterogeneous mass present in the right frontal lobe showing peripheral contrast enhancement. Extension across the midline, significant surrounding area. Most probably diagnosed is pleogramma stoma on deform. 65 on man on headache, large heterogeneous mass in the right frontal lobe showing peripheral contrast enhancement. Extension across the midline, significant surrounding edema. Diagnosis is pleogramma stoma on deform. 74 boy with severe back ache. Abnormality and some sensory motor deprecate. Ill defined heterogeneously enhancing mass in the about the thoracic region of spinal canal with associated cord expansion. Since the ear is adjacent to the legend, most likely diagnosed as a cytoma. Okay. So he has back ache, and then uh, there are ill defined heterogeneous mass in the upper thoracic region of the spinal canal. So astro AST, so T4 thoracic, astro cytoma is seen in thoracic region. Abandomoma is seen in uh, cervical spine. 